The thing that makes it so beautiful is in line with this. It's, a, it's an experience. Kaichur Falls is very, you get off the plane, you see it, you enjoy it, and you go again. This one is, it just wraps you up in it. One of the beautiful things we noticed about Sakaika, and this, this shot kind of gives you an idea, unlike Kaichur Falls, you have vantage point, vantage point, vantage point, vantage point, as far as you want. That's really good for especially photographers because you're getting to see it from different angles. We also, we didn't do this, but it would be easy to do. You could actually cross over the Akariku River and go and do the same exact thing from the opposite side, which is something that Kaichur Falls doesn't have. Kaichur Falls really only has a few vantage points available, which is fine, but this one has many. Waterfalls such as Sakaika and others littered, you know, across this country, we need to optimize their potential. And one of the, I would like to say, strategic projects that we're working here at the Ministry and, and, and the Tourism Authority is on, is doing a full scale assessment of the potential. Somebody asked if you could access the falls from the bottom, that would involve upsailing. Currently, we do not have the, we, we don't know of the potential at various sites across the country for upsailing. That is something we want to pronounce on. We also want to get the know-how on how to upsail, right? Where do we get the expertise on upsailing? And of course, we, we have to understand whether the, uh, the capital requirements for upsailing and, and perhaps white water rafting and zip lining and all of these adventure products and then understanding those requirements and matching it to investment and capacity building. So it's a program that, that we're working on with a number of partners, both regionally and internationally, and that is something that is gonna come on stream very, very soon.